What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey and I play drums. And today we're gonna look at five drummers that I think are extremely underrated. Now, all of these drummers are fantastic players. They're creative, unique, and disciplined on the kit, but for one reason or another, they just don't get the attention or the awareness that I think they deserve out of the drumming community. So we're gonna go ahead and react to a few of their YouTube videos. And maybe by the end of the video, you'll have a new favorite drummer. Who knows? Let's go ahead and check it out. So before we get started, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video. Nothing. I don't have a sponsor. I don't make any money from this. I'm just passionate about this kind of content and I'm passionate about drums and learning about other drummers. And I assume that if you're here to watch this video, you are too. Now, if you can though, please subscribe to the channel, like, and share the video. That'll go a long way for the channel. And hopefully we can spread even more awareness and bring this to even more people in the drum community. So let's get started. First drummer we're going to check out is Yanni Madar. He's an Israeli multi-instrumentalist and a fantastic drummer. He has some of the coolest polyrhythmic style and some of the cleanest playing I've ever seen. So let's check him out. All right, this is Yanni Midar. He's got the ostinato going on in the feet. Little polyrhythm. Starting with the tribal aspect. I'm very minimalist with the kit here. the way he plays, the way he moves is so unique. Switched his grip there. Very creative use of the kit and the polyrhythms. <laughs> it's awesome the way he plays with that tension. a tambourine out of nowhere. So much limb independence, it's ridiculous. No stutter in that ostinato at all, he's just killing it. Mm. 
And then those fills at the end. Oof, boy. So the next drummer we're going to talk about is Justin Scott. I believe he's from Atlanta, Georgia, and he is the quintessential session drummer, in my opinion. He is one of the smoothest and most fluent drummers I've ever seen, and he can play just about anything. So let's check him out. All right, this is Justin Scott playing over Prism Break by Chris Paprota. Just the way he starts with those cymbals, just fantastic. Talk about groove. Mm. like 30 seconds in and this is already impressive. And his kit sounds freaking huge. <laughs> Makes it look so easy. When it comes to drums, this is an artist, in my opinion. It's like watching a painter. Like when you see somebody in their element, it's just, you can't take your eyes off. That groove with the side snare and the hi-hat is awesome. dynamics drummers like this just make me want to go practice my rudiments after all this <laughs> God, so clean crisp so well played I mean, what can you say I guess all I would say is this definitely needs more than 25,000 views. So the next drummer we're going to talk about is Murata Tamu. She's a Japanese drummer for the band Nemophila, and the first time I saw her, I was absolutely blown away. I want to say the word to describe her is contagious. It's hard to look away when she plays. She brings so much energy and so much creativity to the way she writes her parts that it is something to behold. So let's go ahead and check her out. She might be the happiest drummer I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like you can tell she just loves playing drums. And she writes killer parts. Groove. 
She is just so good. So good. That modulation is insane. That's awesome. There's some metal fills. I just love watching her play. She's definitely a performer. She tries to use every inch of that drum set. waving at the camera and stuff. Ooh, a little double bass, let's go. Fusion factor here is real. Oh, so good. So the next artist we're going to talk about is Aaron Mellergaard of the band Dirty Loops. Dirty Loops is a jazz fusion pop band out of Sweden that writes some of the most complex music with some of the most digestible melodies you've ever heard. It's extremely catchy, but it's extremely impressive. From an audience perspective, you can get down to just about any song and feel the energy, but from a musician's perspective, it is incredibly talented. Aaron, specifically on the drums, writes some stuff that you just have to see to believe, so let's check it out. Alright, this is the drum solo in the song Work Shit Out by Dirty Loops. I love that the other guys are already laughing because they know this is going to be insane. So good. One hand, one foot, boy.
That blows my mind every time. That's one of the most satisfying drum solos I've ever heard in a song in my life. So the last drummer we're going to talk about is Louis Cole. Now, Louis Cole, in my opinion, is the definition of avant-garde and creativity when it comes to music. He's got his hands on a lot of different musical projects. He likes to put his flair and his little bit of touches on all the stuff that he writes. And when you see him play a drum set, there's really nobody that plays a drum set quite like he does. You know it when you hear him play. And it's something that you really just have to see to understand. So let's check out his drum solo. Drum solo. Drum solo. Already creative, I told you. A super minimalist setup. And I love the bells and the splash on the toms. Use of the bells and the splashes are so cool. You can tell he's just an eccentric guy and he plays in an eccentric way. The fact he's playing like this open handed too is crazy. Gosh, Louis Cole knows what he's doing, man. So those are five drummers that I think are extremely underrated. If you guys can, let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments, or if you have recommendations for future drum videos or drummers that I should check out, leave them down there as well. Hopefully you got something out of this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.